Hey everyone, welcome in. I'm in the best dungeon in Diablo 4 right now, Blind Burrows. And I've got this open as a nightmare dungeon. You can see on the right here, it's uh, tier 15. And I'm here with my Necromancer, the worst class in the game. So I wanted to show you how well that this build can just work in Blind Burrows because Blind Burrows is just an amazing, amazing, amazing nightmare dungeon. It's so, so good. Now look at this, we have all, we're already doing really well. I mean, this build, this build is really well, uh, really well put together, um, but I'm also playing in hardcore. So I'm not just gonna blitz through this dungeon, I'm also going to sort of play it a little bit safer. You can see the mobs here are level 68, I'm level 62. That means the mobs are getting actually significant bonuses uh, of extra damage and I'm doing less damage against them, right? So this is actually really challenging content uh, in the game right now, especially for Necromancer, the worst class in the game. Uh, now, you'll wanna stay to the end of the video because at the end of the video, I'll show you all of my gear. I've also got complete guides that break down this entire class uh, for you over on Max Roll. And I've got uh, some video guides. I'll link those in the description down below for you. Uh, but this, uh, look, we're just smashing through this dungeon, and it's going to give us tons and tons of XP. Uh, so this is uh, fantastic to put into your farming route. And I guess the most important thing is that when you see a Nightmare Dungeon key drop that is blind burrows, it's time to get excited. Now, you don't want to blindly do every single Nightmare Dungeon key uh, that you get, right? For example, um, a much harder blind burrows would be if monsters were uh, cold enchanted. Oh, oh snap, we got a ha ha ha, we got, we got a butcher. Oh, we got a butcher. Oh boy, oh boy, we got a butcher on hardcore. Hold on, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh boy. Let's pull him forward. Some extra minions to kill will actually give us some extra survivability here. Whoo! My heart was beating, man. I was. Oh man, that's um, that's gonna that's gonna be good for the video. <laughs> Woo! Wow. So, uh, like I was saying, Blind Bros, best dungeon in the game. We just killed a butcher and he wasn't really too scary. The only scary part is that I intentionally did this dungeon like on extra hard difficulty for you guys just because I wanted to uh I wanted you to see how strong that this build really is. <laughs> so I just made the butcher about 5 times harder than he really needed to be. Oh my goodness. So oh, my heart was pounding. Oh, uh, we're good though. We're good though. So yeah, we're just gonna plod through this dungeon. And I, I should mention I don't even have like all of my gear like completely optimal yet. Uh, one thing that really would help me out right now, I'm using a temerity on my legs, is, <coughs> is uh, if I was uh, using a scythe instead of a two-hand, two-handed sword, which would give me just a little bit of extra survivability. Would give me that extra uh, edge that uh, I really I really want in hardcore right in softcore actually in softcore you can do this dungeon in you know whatever difficulty you want because you know if you die like whatever you just respawn it's not the biggest deal in the world uh, so you can actually do this in even higher tiers in softcore and that just goes to show you like how strong this build actually is. Now a lot of people with Necromancer, I, I think specifically Necromancer, have trouble on bosses. But what's cool about this boss is this boss spawns just a ton of adds. Um, but you can even do better than just the just the adds. Is wait until the boss like gets next to a wall. So I like to lure the boss next to a wall. He's gonna do his thing. And then as you can see, he's here next to a wall. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some bone spears at him. And then boom, he's at half health. And then boom, he is dead. So 
if you get him next to a wall with the bone spears, uh, he's he dies super super fast. That's gonna help you out a lot. And there it is, tier 15 with a butcher. Uh, now let's get this glyph upgraded, and I'm just gonna mouse over my gear just uh, real quick for you. We've got the Deathless Visage here. We've got the Embalmer. We've got Serration, Temerity, uh, Wind Striker. These these could be better. I've got a two-handed sword. I want a, um, uh, a scythe here instead. Uh, and we've got uh, Splintering here. Then we've got Shielding Storm, Potent Blood, and Umbral. Uh, as far as the skills, skill tree is concerned, we're using Bone Spear, we're using Bone Prison, a little bit of Corpse Explosion just to trigger Grim Harvest, maxed out Corpse Tendrils, and a Bone Storm with Ossified Essence and all the Bone Passives. That's it for this one, uh, this super short one. I hope you really enjoyed Blind Burrows, and I hope that the next time a Blind Burrows key drops for you, that you get super excited. See you in the next one. Peace.